Welcome to Coogan's Corner. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. Again, I'm recording actually on my Surface Pro, just the front facing camera. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you some headphones that I picked up for my birthday. And as you can see on the package, they are the Tozo. They got IPX8 uh, water resistant uh, T6. Again, this means you can um, sweat with them or do whatever. It's going to be able to handle that. Um, and you can t even take a shower with these things from what I understand. I don't know that I would do that in particularly. Uh, let me just show you what these look like whenever you open them up. It comes in this nice box. And this thing slides open like this. And then it has an 18 month warranty right here. And it has some documentation that goes along with it. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Can you have your case and then you have your earbuds and then you have all those different tips that you can use. Now I've already opened this up and tried this out. And for me, it works perfectly fine with the tips that came with it. And let me tell you, these things get down in your ear. That's what they look like. It has the touch pad on this side over here. And whenever you put this thing in your ear, let me see which one this one is. This is the right. It really gets into there and you twist it. And that thing is really in there. It makes a really good. Earplug. Once you get these in here, I'm hopefully I'll, I'll try to keep from talking louder, but um, it really knocks off a lot of sound. These are not um, noise reduction. Uh, it doesn't keep that blocked out, but because they go so far in your ear, I mean, it really knocks that sound or the ability to hear way down. And I had these on and with a little bit of music and people were around talking to me, all I could see was their lips moving. And so it does really good at uh, blocking out sound, even though they don't have that thing built in. Of course, you can't just push a button and allow it the little microphones to allow you to be able to hear people speak. But, you know, we're talking about headphones that are 50 bucks. Now I will tell you this, um, the controls on it are a little bit different because they're so far down in your ear canal and you kind of touch them. And you don't, it is, you don't have to push on them real hard, uh, but you can turn the volume up and down on one side, you hold down on one and it, and it moves the volume up in increments or you hold it down on the other side and it takes it down. Um, you can answer your phone with these things. I haven't tried them out. Um, I've seen other people do reviews on these and they say it sounds pretty good. You can do voice commands with them and uh, they will automatically, as soon as you pull them out of the case and put them in your ears, they'll automatically pair with your phone um, once you've connected the first time. And it was really easy. I was able to pair, uh, to pair it with my Android device and also with my iPad. It wasn't a problem at all. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of my ear for now. Now, I will tell you that these things, that they sound really good for $50 uh, headphones. They do real well on the high and the mid. They really have that separated out. It sounds great on that. They're not going to give you a lot of bass on just regular songs, so they're not going to add in a bunch of bass that's not really there, per se. I have had headphones that do that. So if you're a real big bass man and you want every song to have some good, strong bass in it, these are not for you. However, I went to one of those uh, YouTube channels where they have the nothing but bass, hard hitting bass. And when you put these things in your ear and you put it on that hard hitting bass, boy, I tell you what, it really has the ability to do a lot of bass whenever it's there. And the only difference is though, if you ever experienced being in an actual car or a place that has the big woofers and they're really hitting that bass, you can feel the bass. I mean, it's just a part of it. Of course, with this, I mean, you hear the bass, it's really loud. And I, I had on some professional over the head tele, uh, headphones and um, the bass was eh, okay on those. But these, I mean, this, this, these will play the bass on those hard hitting bass songs, but you don't feel it. And so you kind of lose the experience of that. Now, you also have the little case that they go into and you have the light indicator, lets you be able to see that. In fact, I'll just go ahead and put the headphone in on each side and then you can see that. So whenever you have that on, that shows you how much charge it has. 
And what's great is this is a wireless charging. I got a little wireless charger that's less than $10. And at the end of the day, you can just throw that on there and, and then it'll be fully charged the next day when you want to listen to your music. Now I want to read you some specs. This, these come in black, which I have, and they also come in gray and they have a pink color. Now this, I got these off of Amazon and this is what it says about them. It says TWS and Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, let's see, it says Tozo T6 supports ASP, HSP, HFP, A2, DP, AVR, CP, and provides an in-call stereo sound. Also on fast and stable transmission without tangling. And it says it has a hi-fi stereo sound quality, offers a truly natural, authentic sound and powerful bass performance with six millimeter large size speaker driver, one step pairing, pick up two headsets from the charging box. They will connect each other automatically. Then only one step easily enters mobile phone, Bluetooth, Bluetooth settings, and a pair of earbuds. IP, uh, IPX8, sorry, I can't speak today. IPX8 waterproof earbuds and charging case. Inner nano coating makes it possible to waterproof for one meter deep for 30 minutes. It is suitable for sports to prevent water, ideal for sweating in and out of the gym, even wash uh, the earbuds and base. And it says charge on the go. Wireless earbuds can last for over six hours playtime from a single charge and 24 extra hours in the compact charging case. Charging case supports wireless charging, provides uh, providing convenient charging uh, way to with no strings attached is basically what it says. So I can tell you this for $50, these are some great earbuds and I can certainly recommend them. Are they the best earbuds out there? No, they're not the best, but uh, I can tell you these are the best sounding ones I've had for $50. I have one that's uh, called SoundForge. It has a wire attached to them and you adjust it in the middle. Um, and it almost sounds as good as these, but these are really good. And, and man, you're talking about the sound isolation uh, even though it's not something that's built in, again, I, I can guarantee you that that you won't be able to hear people around you very well. And if you have music on, I don't see how in the world you'd be able to hear them to begin with. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of these headphones and what I think of them. You can let me know if you've had your experience or if you have a pair of these and what you think about them. But I think they're really good and worth, worth the money. Hope you have a great day.